Hi, welcome to Living in El Paso, Texas. My name is John Pena. And my name is Alejandro Sosa. And in this episode, we're going to talk about Horizon City 2024. First, uh, John, anything new happening? Any updates? Uh, yes, I have neglected my dental care for the last couple of years and haven't gone to the dentist. So I finally went in and I've been in like three times in the last couple of weeks. My jaw is so sore from like uh, the manipulation. I got to get a crown, add fillings. So I'm having a lot of dental uh, excitement in my life. Uh, how about you? Funny you say about the whole dental stuff because I've gone to Mexico uh, quite a bit of times lately. I'm trying to find a different doctor, different type of medicine, do meditation, do more of the healthy uh, type of stuff. So that's something I'm exploring and trying. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of different changes. I'm also excited because I might go to Mexico next month to Cancun for the first time. One of the things I love about El Paso is the proximity to Juarez because we can go you know, to many places in Mexico, a lot cheaper than flying from El Paso, so yeah. That's a lot of, awesome. A lot of good things, a lot of changes. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's awesome that you're going on the trip. I know you're spending time with family. Uh, actually, my parents are in town and we walked into Juarez uh, the other day mm -hmm. to get uh, some things at the pharmacy, uh, walk around the markets, everything like that. But anyway, um, we are going to start talking a little bit more about kind of health and wellness because it's something that you and I talk about all the time and we were like, you know, like, Everybody else, like who doesn't want to be a little bit healthier, um, improve their wellness? We're all dealing with something. So um, we are excited to kind of talk about that, but not in this episode. In this episode, we're talking about Horizon City because every year we like to kind of like update our where to live episodes. Mm -hmm. We do every area. We've already done the Northeast, lots of changes coming there with Campo del Sol. Uh, we did, uh, far East, which is super popular, and directly south of far, the Far East is Horizon City, which, dare I say, is one of, well, certainly one of the most popular locations for the buyers, would you say? Definitely for the buyers. I think it's still to this day, a lot of people say the most bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes down to new construction, I mean, that's mm -hmm. pretty much everything is in there. There's a couple established neighborhoods there, but for the most part, all brand new, nice amenities, new communities, and a lot more affordable than others. So let's say the West Side, right? We know the West Side is more expensive. So it's, it's a very popular and growing area. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and you're right on the money. Tons of new construction. We are going to talk about numbers and, and all of that. But let me just give you a little bit of a bit of background information. We're going to just kind of show maps here. We're going to show some footage that we have of Horizon City. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about its history really briefly. The city was incorporated by referendum uh, uh, October 1988, all right? And it, this is really interesting. It took its name from the Real Estate Development Corporation that originally developed it as a community beginning in the early 1960s. That corporation was called the Horizon Corporation. And if you know anything about Horizon City, you likely maybe know that there are, is a lot of land lots that were sold back in the day. And now basically those lots really aren't worth much of anything. Let me read you a quote here. The Horizon Corporation bought up large tracts of land in the Southwestern United States, including Eastern El Paso County. It platted them into subdivisions and it sold lots in them to thousands of people worldwide often, most often, sight unseen, often, almost always, without access to water and utilities, and using questionable sales tactics between 1962 and 1975. So eventually, the Federal Trade Commission stepped in and put a stop to that in 1981. But basically only one little portion of that development was ever successfully um, developed and that was near the intersection of Horizon Boulevard and Canasso Street. And this kind of became the nucleus of Horizon City, which has grown into a great little community. But on the outskirts, especially when you go further east, mm -hmm. it's just like desert sand, dirt, no utilities. If you look on the map, we'll put one up here. You can see all the lines where it's mm -hmm. supposed to be platted out yeah. and there's like streets, they don't exist. Yeah. And so people from all over the world were convinced with these questionable sales tactics to like buy these plots of land. And still every year, I bet at least, I don't know, five people will reach out to me and be like, hey, my parents bought this plot of land, like, can you help me sell it? And I'm like, no, like, it's not really, unfortunately, worth anything. Um, so we made a whole video on that. So we don't have to uh, beat that dead horse, but uh, an interesting origin story, I guess, for, for Horizon City. 
Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely very interesting. And, and it's just, you know, from that to now the growth, you know, uh, it's just, I'm assuming, you know, crazy. And a lot of people who live here have seen it grow, see the, you know, all the new construction is probably pretty crazy for them to see the changes and how fast it's changing over the years. Yeah, for sure. And actually, when we were talking before this episode, you were like, ah, a lot of our buyers, like, are, some of them aren't into it because they think it's just like a big, like, dirt hole in the sun. And yeah, in March, when it gets really windy and the sun starts, or the wind starts kicking up out there, where there's just basically just sand and dirt. Yeah, it can look apocalyptic, but um, that shouldn't scare you away because the area is growing. There's so many like new restaurants and stores, schools. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of a dirt hole in the sun vibe when you go outside of the city limits, but within Horizon City, it's nice. There's mm -hmm. parks with green grass. What do you what do you what do you tell people usually when they say that? Well, a lot of people some people think that there's nothing in Horizon. They expect that it's just old dirt. There might be a few lots here and there that they're building homes. And also a lot of people think that Horizon City is pretty much far from El Paso and it's not mm -hmm. attached, let's say. Uh, give, I always give a quick example. We still live in Mexico City, but not technically Mexico City, but it grows so much that now it was part of Mexico City. So Horizon City is technically Horizon City, but it, for me, it, it's attached to El Paso, right? You go a block and another one house is El Paso, one house on the, on the street says Horizon City. So uh, I feel like there's some type of misconception there, maybe for uh, back in the day that it was not as much construction as there is now, but now, I mean, it's grown and it's beautiful. There's yeah. actually one of the places that I might consider to move because it's newer, nice amenities, new houses, and not, at least yet, not as much traffic as I've heard. Some people complain about areas like the Far East or, you know, because there's a lot more military folks that want to be in those areas. Yeah, no doubt. I agree 100% on all of that. A um, couple real quick things. The city has about 8.7 square miles of total area right now. Um, it is separate from El Paso City. Um, the city, essentially Horizon City, has a mayor and seven council members that are elected to four-year terms um, that run everything. In the 2020 census, there were uh, about 22, 23,000 people uh, registered as residents in there. And then really quickly, because people always ask me about this, are the taxes, the property taxes, different between Horizon City and the rest of El Paso? Yes, they are. Here's a quick breakdown. Horizon City has six taxing entities, all right? Um, El Paso County, the Socorro uh, School District, that's the biggest one. That tax rate is about 1.25%, that's the biggest one. Um, El Paso Community Colleges, Emergency Services number one, University Medical Center, and then uh, a municipal utility district called Paseo del Este, MUD number three. That's about 0.7% uh, tax rate, okay? now. For everybody else in El Paso City uh, proper, there are five taxing entities. The city of El Paso, okay, which Horizon City isn't paying into. This is a 0.82 a tax um, rate. City of El Paso, Horizon doesn't pay that. We do, if you're in El Paso. Everybody pays El Paso County. El Paso Independent School District, um, EPCC, Community College, and the University Medical Center. But in El Paso, you, you're there. You're not paying that municipal utility district. So, are the property taxes in Horizon City a little bit higher? Yes, a little bit, but um, not significantly, uh, I would say. So, people always want to know about that. And so, other than that, why don't you talk a little bit, kind of, about home prices and stats? Yeah, so one of the things we talk about uh, very popular Horizon City is because the affordability and the new houses compared to other areas, right? So most houses there, price point, of course there's exceptions, mm -hmm. but most homes are gonna be from $200,000 to $400,000. I think that's gonna be the majority of people. There's some homes a little bit less, and there's a few homes, you know, 500,000, 600,000. They're not that many, mm -hmm. but there's a few there. Now, like I said, most homes are gonna be newer. I will say, you know, exceptions, you can find older homes, but mainly I'll say 15, 2015 and up, mm -hmm. 2020s, it's just a lot of new construction there. So those are gonna be mainly the the price points and also, uh, I'm gonna talk about the square footage as well. Most homes there, average is 1,825 square feet, which is what I, you know, I'll see 1,500 square foot to 2,500, 2,000 is what I usually see. So it's something, 
I think that's why it's very popular because it's what a lot of people want. You know, they don't, it's rare here in El Paso, we talked about this, that you see a lot of new construction that are five bedrooms or six bedrooms. More so three twos, four threes. Mm -hmm. So this is, in my opinion, one of the reasons why it's very popular there because it just seems to have what the majority of people that are moving to El Paso are looking for. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, average home price, probably yeah. 280 to 300 ballpark maybe. Yeah. 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 Um, so uh, I think the, the stats said basically, uh, we always talk about listing price per square foot, 161, which is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the average in El Paso is, is basically the same, 160 mm -hmm. right now. So yeah, bang for your buck, especially when it comes to newer homes. And of course, if you want a new home, that's where uh, yeah, you know, there's a ton. Yeah, uh, that's why I always tell people, if you want new construction, you're gonna find the most options in Horizon City. Because we know the west side, there's not a lot. Mm -hmm. Far east, there's some options, but I just feel like Horizon, and also a lot of builders are pushing incentives, so sometimes uh, it works for people to go to Horizon for that, for that yeah. reason alone. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, you know, we don't have to, uh, to, to keep going on this. That really is, I think, the main information that, that you would find useful. Um, again, since, you know, the last couple of years, there's been so much new development. The big Amazon distribution center is there. Um, like I said, there's a great restaurant. There used to be this little restaurant in downtown Elemy, and now there's one of those actually in Horizon City, which is crazy. So it used to be when I was, um, first started this, like everyone was like, yeah, I like Horizon City because I like the houses, but there's like nothing to do there. Like mm -hmm. you got to drive like to the east side to go to a grocery store. Well, now all that's changed. Now there's plenty of stuff, hospitals, schools, groceries, food. I mean, you name it, it's there. So yeah, definitely growing. Definitely growing. Absolutely. So with that, with that, I think we'll leave it right there. Um, any big plans for a uh, for weekend coming up? No, I'm just getting ready for the trip. Getting yeah, ready for the awesome. trip, buying everything I need to buy, and just you know, trying to trying to focus on uh, when I'm there. The time, hopefully, goes slow because you know usually <laughs> it goes really fast. So I'm trying to hopefully enjoy my trip yeah. as much as I can. But no, I'm just excited and obviously uh, always thankful for everybody to watch the channel because we got people like, hey, I've been watching you guys for two years and I'm finally reaching up. So. I mean, this is the whole reason why we do want to provide value uh, and what, you know, El Paso is about, or at least in our eyes, and obviously always giving you guys honesty, which is what we're always about. Yeah, for sure. And with that, we might as well plug, yeah, if, you, if you're getting value out of the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, the, uh, the thumbs up, all of that, all of that stuff really helps. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode.